so welcome back again to tech tutorial and today i'm going to show you how to design this beautiful masonry photo gallery using css grid and lightbox here you can see i have few photos and it's uh, sorted in a randomly this randomly sorted photo called masonry so let me click on this photo and it's opening a beautiful pop-up and there we have the gallery and the arrow button to see next photos so for this pop-up use lightbox lightbox is a very popular tools to make photo gallery simple photo gallery and for that you don't need to write any kinds of javascript code just you have to uh, download the lightbox uh, zip file and then you have to include the css and javascript file in your project okay let's uh, go to see how to download the lightbox here i am showing you the github link you can see locate slash lightbox too i will give this link in the description below you can uh, check it there and from here just uh, download the zip file and uh, extract it so i have already downloaded the pro um, zip file and in the dist folder you will get this uh, three folder in the css and uh, here is some images this uh, close loading next and previous and in javascript there ha have few javascript so, but uh, here we will only use dot jquery main.js and uh, in the css file we use lightbox main.css so that's all i have uh, 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 already set up the project you can see here is my masonry lightbox image gallery and in css folder i have the lightbox main.css and style.css for the demo project and in the demo project i have index.html file and in images i have few images there and the lightbox images and in js folder i have only jquery main.js i don't need this you can delete it so plus jquery main.js and I have already created two extra files for a new project. So let's uh, go go to our Visual Code Studio to write the code. First of all, create a HTML document here. Let hash and we can title here. Masonry photo. Yeah. photo gallery and uh, here we will <coughs> link our css file this is our style.css file and uh, here we will link our mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. css slash lightbox main.css okay that's all and in body tag we'll first of all script dot source slash slash lightbox so that's our all set up for using lightbox and now we'll create a deep continue which is a grid so deep dot class mm, make it great and then here we will create some mm, link blank okay and then yeah so image source and then images slash model one dot jpg so just uh, copy the link and paste it here we need to paste it in eight times because i make it 
two eight four five six seven eight so let's uh, go to a browser and I have already opened the live server so you can check that this is a design pattern create and <laughs> without any design and now we will go to our style.css so margin zero padding zero system not write it as a body adding zero padding zero background rg zero zero and opposite is zero point two this for background color and also include box sizing model box There's some default value for a, a text decoration. Text decoration. And here is your grid column. So here position relative. Position relative. White hundred percent. I sorry we should use here I will use what 70% and display display grid grid template columns here we will use repeat repeat and here auto fit what is the proper use of auto fit? When we will use auto fit, we don't need to use media query to make it responsive. And here is min max. Min max is 300 pixel for ease. Comma, one f. That's all. Then grid grid gap five pixels. Grid gap five pixel and um, grid uh, follow. Grid auto follow. Dense. Then, then dot uh, create dot image. So when is that? Let's say open. You can see our oh, picture has been sorted. So image uh, display block. Object feet cover feet cover white white hundred percent height hundred percent. So this is our basic in this gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, make it center margin zero comma bottom. 
this is in center and in top we can give one percent uh, margin to look it beautiful okay so this is a uh, basic photo gallery and now let's uh, add light box so how to use light box for that uh, go to the light box home page and here you can see the documentation for we for the image set you can see we need to add a data light box you can add it any name so let me copy it and okay oh, we can say mason Hmm. masonry gallery okay we can say it masonry gallery and here we will give the link of slash images slash model one okay. just uh, copy paste it behind just then it change the photo see our masonry has been it's not masonry it's a simple photo gallery this is the light box feature we can add just we need to uh, design the masonry so here for this photo we need a two column I mean this one and this one so how to do that let's uh, go to a css style so dot uh, grid uh, and child one and here grid row span two okay. so you can see we got a two row of the in image and uh, what will do? One, two, three. Let's uh, open our demo project. One twenty-seven slash demo. So this and second image uh, took uh, two column. So for that, copy it, paste it, and child uh, two. You can see our second image took uh, two column and uh, sorry here you can see that second image took two, co two column and for your uh, one two three four fourth, fourth image is two row so then copy it and fourth image four so you can check it out our fourth image took uh, two Two row and uh, here we can say four this is one two three four five six seven and eight eighth image took uh, two column so you go to here paste it and here paste eight and uh, column okay so now you can check our eighth image took uh, two column we can change our design we can change anything here okay that's all our inner design so you can do this in this way it's uh, really i don't 
think so it's too beautiful but it's uh, too easy to use so thanks for watching and uh, you can uh, check our other design here is profile card design card design beautiful and also the responsive navigation and uh, responsive registration form you can check out this video also if you want to learn jsp servlet i have uh, uploaded only few videos again about jsp servlet so i'm quite busy in next i will try to continue about jsp and servlet so thanks for watching and must subscribe my channel